It's been just almost eerily quiet. It's always quiet in Butte La Rose, Louisiana, but this, well, is something else. The only sound of the Army National Guard Humvees as they patrol the levee. Every street Wednesday, empty, and nearly every house, boarded up, walled off, or abandoned, with some saying their goodbyes in a public and permanent way. Inside the only store in town, Mildred Roberts is going a little stir-crazy. Not very many people are around. Uh, they've all gone. They've left town. They seek shelter somewhere else until the water goes down. So it's been pretty boring since yesterday. Two men walk the streets in the morning, but they're firefighters, making notes in case they have to come back once the streets are covered. 20.55, 2064, 20. Michelle McKinnis keeps track of the river's height on her calendar. That calendar finally tells her it's time to go. I'm absolutely positive we're going to have water in the house. Absolutely positive. No doubt. And that's a, that's a hard pill to swallow. Water here could reach 27 feet. How can that happen? These are pictures from the air of the Morganza spillway, which is now letting millions of gallons of water into what is normally farmland. This water, which spreads as far as the eye can see, is moving towards Butte La Rose and should arrive by the weekend. Landry Parish President Don Menard got a look from the air on board an Army Blackhawk, and he was stunned. I was amazed at how much water was coming. I mean, it's absolutely amazing to see so much water, uh, and we've got a lot of that coming our way. Police are already blocking the roads into Butte La Rose, only allowing residents in. However, on Saturday morning, they'll seal these roads for good, and no one will be allowed to pass until the water recedes. That could take into July, meaning this town will be a ghost town for more than a month. Rich Matthews, Associated Press, Butte La Rose, Louisiana.